So, this talk is about uh, this framework called Azure uh, dot tail, um, and the dot tail part uh, means that it's a Julia package. Um, so, this is a convention called Julia package is used uh, for easy uh, discoverability on Google, basically. Um, so, what Azure is a is is a it's a uh, framework for writing web apps entirely in Julia. Okay, um, and uh, this talk in this talk I'm going to uh, like basically motivate why we need such a thing. Why, why do we need to write uh, everything in one language? Why does it have to be this way? And how does it help certain kinds of people write UI? And uh, I'm also going to uh, basically get into the construction of such a package, yeah, construction of a service. Okay. Um, so, um, so to start off motivating why we need this thing, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about functional programming. Okay. So it's surprising how many people uh, that uh, actually practice functional programming do not like kind of. Uh, uh, cannot define functional programming, right? So uh, people think it's like higher order functions, uh, functions as values, uh, you know, uh, uh, and like various type systems. Uh, and people say that if you do not, if you do not have a statically type uh, Hindley Milner type uh, uh, type system, you don't have a functional language. But at at the most basic level, uh, functional programming is just Programming with stateless functions. Right? You uh, you program with functions which give you give you the same output for the same input, um, no matter where they are executed or how they are executed. Right? Um, so that's the basic uh, fundamental building block of functional programming. But this has a problem. So if you just have functions which take some value and give back the same uh, value for the same input. How are you going to change the world? Like, how are you going to uh, do some modifications that that are required for actual uh, effects to happen in the world, right? From your program. So one of such w one such side effect is uh, UI design because to show anything on a screen, you're basically doing some kind of uh, side effect. Um, and uh, the most dominant way of writing UIs today is using a web, right? Uh, so, uh, the web uh, has this API called DOM, um, Document Object Model, which is this convention where you use this object called document, which is a huge mutable data structure. Um, and uh, the way you write programs is uh, to manipulate this thing is you go and mutate certain parts of the DOM so that you, you can see uh, the changes reflect uh, in, your, in your UI. This is inherently uh, a stateful uh, abstraction. 